What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Tesla just teased and finally dropped the first massive update for the Cybertruck since its short inception to the public. Tesla just released 2024.14.3 known as the spring update loaded with a slew of new features that we've been waiting on and some that we have been and still are not included. Spoiler alert, FSD beta or FSD supervised or autopilot is still not present, unfortunately, in this update. I don't think it's going to be coming anytime soon. Quite honestly, Elon even said a while ago that is not top of concern. Unfortunately, I know a lot of buyers currently are upset about that, specifically about paying $12,000 up front for it at value or whatever you want to call it at the time of purchase, the price dropping and kind of have already paying for something that we have not received. Now, having said that, what they have included in this update, including those differential lockers and a slew of other features, definitely are worth talking about. Let's go ahead and jump right into the truck. Okay, so in the Cybertruck, as you can see, with the latest update, 2024.14.3, and this is that big update we've been waiting on. There are still a lot of features left off, however, especially including FSD. Now, having said that, let's just look at all these. Off-road mode is the first one that is advertised here, and you can see it says overland mode now provides more consistent handling and better overall traction while driving on rock, gravel, deep snow, or sand. Baja mode now improves vehicle balance and handles more freely when stability assist is set to minimal. Next, we have terrain options in Baja mode. And as you can see, it says terrain options in Baja mode. Baja mode now includes a terrain slider for optimized performance in a variety of off-road scenarios. Smooth, which is medium ride height and increases dampening for excellent body control and responsive handlings. Rugged, high ride height with dampening, optimized for rough terrain, medium sized opticals, and whoops. And then clearance, which is very high ride height for traversing large obstacles. One of the biggest ones we've been waiting on, especially for the dual motor, is locking differentials. If you have a Cyber Beast, this is only applicable for, I believe it's the front um, engine, or motors I should say. But don't quote us on that, it could be the rear. So locking differentials, you can now engage the locking differentials. On uneven or slippery terrain, if a wheel has limited or no traction, Cybertruck will direct torque to the opposite wheel. This helps the vehicle continue moving in low traction environments. For off-roading, choose from the locking differential options on the vehicle status area or in the off-road app. Engaging locking differentials while driving on roads is helpful if you temporarily need extra grip or on loose or uneven terrain, such as getting unstuck from a snowbank. Navigate to dynamics, engage rear locking differential. Use with caution and maneuverability and traction are reduced when turning. Don't use on high traction surfaces such as asphalt. Doing so will result in damage to the drivetrain. Refer to the owner's manual before using this feature. Trail Assist, this is actually a neat one that I don't think a lot of people saw coming. Trail Assist maintains a set cruising speed with minimal slips on rough or steep terrain so you can focus on steering. Adjust the set speed by swiping on the right scroll wheel. Unlike cruise control when you brake, Trail Assist stays active and resumes the set speed when you release the pedals. Awesome addition there. To enable, go to Controls, Dynamics, Off-Road Mode, Trail Assist. This feature won't steer, navigate, avoid obstacles, stop, or otherwise operate the vehicle on its own. Continue to pay attention and be ready to take immediate action. Refer to the owner's manual for more information. Then you have Slippery Surface, and this says Slippery Surface optimizes traction controls for driving on snowy, ice, wet, or slick roads to distribute traction evenly across all tires. Even when the setting is off, Cybertruck continuously obviously detects characteristics of the current driving surface and automatically adapts traction controls. In your vehicle, go to Dynamics, Slippery Surface. Then you have Ride and Handling with a Load. Adaptive Suspension now estimates payload more accurately and automatically adjusts dampening to deliver a more comfortable ride and more consistent, confident handling. For the owner's manual, yada, yada, yada again. This is pretty awesome if you did opt for the Cyber Tent. This is now finally included and has a separate mode for this where it says cyber tent mode levels suspension. So now you can sleep comfortably on a flat surface. It keeps the tonneau cover open to accommodate your tent. You won't need a lantern with the lighting controls in the Tesla app and outlets stay on if enabled. 
Go to outlets and mods in your vehicle settings or controls in the Tesla app. The Cyber Tent is only available in the Tesla shop, as we know. And then other updates purely from the main summer or spring release. You have Audible now, Spotify Q and playback speeds, preview of Century recordings, which I think is just so, so awesome. That's finally here to view in the Tesla app. Basically, this one says when sentry mode triggers your vehicle alarm and records or and records an event, you can immediately preview a brief clip of the recording on your phone. This has been asked about for so, so long. Press and hold the notification to watch the recording in your vehicle settings. You must have safety dash cam turned on. It does require a USB with sufficient memory plugged into the vehicle and the Tesla app running 4.31.5 or newer on iPhone. And you do need previous connectivity iPhone here is a key wording because I don't see any mention to Android yet being uh, really accommodating and letting this work for that yet. So keep that in mind. Speed camera chime. To hear a chime when you're approaching a speed camera, turn on navigation, speed camera chime in your vehicle settings. You must have online routing turned on. Again, this does require premium connectivity. Trip progress bar. I think this is a little one of those, again, quality of life improvements here. Below your turn-by-turn -turn list in your navigation, you'll sh now see a progress bar that changes as you drive closer to your destination and next steps. The progress bar also reflects live traffic conditions on the, your route if you have online routing turned on. And you can see the example here. Blue is obviously no traffic, light traffic, heavy traffic, and then stop, stand still. For real-time traffic and road conditions to appear on your route, make sure you have set navigation, online routing turned on. And again, you need premium connectivity. Cybertruck colorizer, I think this is awesome obviously for us. We can act if your car is wrapped, whether you have it wrapped or not, just like we have in every other Tesla. This will now reflect how you would like to have that done. Custom scroll wheel functions, now you can do more with your left scroll wheel button. You can perform actions like raise or lower ride height, open the glove box or save dash cam footage and adjust settings like brightness and drive mode. Press and hold the left scroll wheel, yada, yada, yada. Um, you now have zoom. Beach Buggy Racing 2 is finally here. We've talked about this recently. We now have new lock sounds. Hopefully, one call out on this is that they have increased the volume on that pedestrian speaker. It has been so low. We've talked about it as well as other people. Um, or else this new lock sound is going to sound terrible. I don't know why it was kind of quiet in the first place, but it's been a known issue. Another big one, cabin overheat protection. This was available in every other Tesla but the Cybertruck. It is here now. And this will let you know for hot days or parking in indirect or indirect sunlight. Cabin overheat protection helps maintain the temperature you set for up to 12 hours after you park. It does turn off at 20% battery to conserve range. Front passenger air. You can now open or close the front passenger air vent separately with the rest of your vehicle climate still on. Improved turning circle. This is awesome. Now it actually lets us improve our turning radius by 1.6 feet, making parking in slow speed maneuvers easier this is achieved by an increase in the turning angle from the front and wheel rear wheels i am very curious to see actually what that percentage is better route available now navigation shows you at the top of your turn list if a fast route becomes available while you're being navigated it will reroute you unless you decline before time expires wiper controls now you can adjust this on the scroll wheel when you press the wiper button to view wi wiper controls other security improvements the generic lingo here and now some other updates. When you're parked, you can expand the browser to full screen. Rear passengers can now see the current trip details, time, and temperature at the top of the rear touchscreen, except when entertainment apps are using the full screen. You can now swipe to delete sentry mode recordings in the dash cam app on your vehicle touchscreen or at security. Sentry mode alarm previews in the Tesla app. Very cool to see that. I did not know that was there. When you have valet mode on, your vehicle is unlocked or shifted out of park, you'll receive a notification from your phone. Vampire Survivors game in Arcade now has Space 54 and deplorable updates. Arcade includes the latest game updates from the Polytopia Path of the Ocean. If you have no passengers in the back seat or rear touchscreen now turns off when you shift out of park to reduce unnecessary energy. The powered front can better detect obstacles just before it finishes closing. We know the pinch sensors was a big topic of concern. Good to see they improved that. I still think that was way blown out of proportion, but Tesla is being Tesla, they improved that. And lastly on here also, it says when you open your door to get in, Cybertruck overhead lights come on at a lower brightness if you have lights, dome lights set to auto. Tap the lights to adjust them.
So as you can see, we have a slew of new notification dots here. Let's just jump right into the rear display. And you can see right here alone, it does look slightly different with the temperature and all of that. This is where you'll see more of the information that was updated if you are navigating to a display or to a destination. We'll jump back to the more menu, jumping right into settings and dynamics. Obviously this was one of the biggest ones for off-road modes and you can see all the new tags right here. So jumping right into that, you can see the first one is slippery surface, just like what we described below or back in the upgrade tab. Use when roads are slippery, such as snow, ice, or wet. You just toggle that on and off. Engage rear locking differentials. Use to increase rear axle traction on slippery, loose, or uneven terrain. Do not use on high traction surfaces, again, like asphalt. And then that is all you're seeing right here. If you wanted to go into the off-road mode and confirm to get into this, here is where we get a ton of new information. So not only do we have a launch off-road app now built in, but you can see Trail Assist is right here on the dash. This is what a lot of people are gonna look at, and this you can see now shows you, obviously, all of your camera angles if you wanna see everything going on off-road. You can easily just swipe between cameras as well if you want, and this is going to make a lot of people really, really happy once you take this baby off-road, if that's what your plans are on it. Again, as you can see, quite a lot of stuff here. Rear steering enabled or off. Wade mode is now right here. Your ride heights are right here as well. As far as your current ground clearance, it is now easily displayed right there as well. Locking differentials, off, rear, on, or all on. Your PSIs, battery temperature, rear motor temperature, front motor temperature, everything is right here. This looks really good. Shout out to the Tesla team for creating this app. Looks great. So again, back in dynamics, off-road mode, that is now all you have here. But you do have Baja deceleration mode on standard or high if you want to toggle between those. We're going to go ahead and just go back into our normal road mode here. Towing and hauling, obviously nothing's new. We don't have a notification dot. Charging will be very interesting to see if we are going to be getting any increased charging speeds. No note of that. Hopefully they still might have implemented something there. Outlets and mods, obviously here's one of the other big ones. Cyber tent mode is now right here. For optimal comfort to sleep flat on your cyber tent, you can turn this on. And when you do, cyber truck, or excuse me, cyber tent mode levels the suspension, opens the tonneau and keeps it open. Before you turn it on, check that your surroundings won't be obstructed by suspension leveling. Once you activate this, this is your new mode to see. As you can see, quite a lot to look at here, quite a lot of new tags to check out bed lighting to open the tailgate, charging port, the other rear lighting down here below. These are awesome to see. Front headlights as well. You can kind of trigger these on and off if you want. You can see simple tap, we'll turn them on, hold it to turn it off. You have your suspension showing its level. The tonneau is open, walkway door locks and outlets are currently off. And obviously you can hold to exit the cyber truck mode, cyber tent mode. But yeah, this is very, very cool. Take a look at that. Look at those details. Very neat. So let's go ahead and hold to exit. Three, two, one. We get a countdown and we're back into our normal mode. So again, nothing else you see really here. It was mainly just the cyber tent mode added. Again, here we are. FSD beta. Again, my concern here is that it's still listing it as beta instead of full self-driving supervised kind of telling me that this is unfortunately still not a priority in the Cybertruck and probably not to expect it for another few months. Locks, nothing new here either in that regard. Lights, again, nothing great. One call out I did have on a past video, if you follow the channel, you probably have already heard, but the accent lights that you can obviously see when it's darker out aren't as bright as they should be. Um, really at any point of the day, unless you are actually adjusting the type of light. Uh, it always kind of faded right when you clicked off of it. I'm sure it's to be a less of a distraction, but even when we test drove the new Model 3, they were much lighter and brighter during the day than what I see in the Cybertruck. Maybe that'll change, but that's currently a call out. We'll put that to the test and see if that's been fixed here. Display, obviously this is our next setting here. We've always had some of these options, but scroll wheel is here now. So if you want to change this, you can now long press the left scroll wheel for quick access, like we said, and you can see what that can be changed into and utilized. You can obviously have it changed per trip if you like, but that is all 
under there. Nothing with trip since they changed the new layout. Navigation, obviously, you have speed camera chimes as well if you want to turn that on. That's all you'll need to do. Safety is the next one here, and you can see right off the bat, nothing brand new here until you scroll a little further down and see, finally, cabin overheat protection is here. So, as crazy as it sounds, usually I do keep this off because it is a battery drain. And again, if you follow the channel, you'll know we've had issues with our Cybertruck draining battery. That phantom battery drain has been horrible. So I'm going to attempt to leave this on and see what the damage is. Uh, but traditionally, I do normally keep that off. So that's just one call out there. Service, nothing new here. I also don't know why this new tag still stays on the mileage. But then software is what it is. You guys can see we are running 2024.2. 14.3 like we said wi-fi is the same bluetooth is the same and again not gonna be any upgrades available so yeah what do you guys think of this latest update let us know down below the other things we didn't touch on are obviously zoom and the changes in toy box nothing big there you do have spotify and oh they do have off-road mode in a separate app here as well didn't see that thanks for watching guys thumbs up this video subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you in the next one peace